Brandon Robinson to May, facing up, almost at the three-point line, right side. Now he tries to drive baseline, spins by Warren, banks it in. What a move by May, who has six. So Louisville's hit three three-pointers, and they lead it 15 to 12. Cardinals have made all three of their threes, but that one's a little higher percentage as the lob to Brooks for the big flush. Louisville made six of its first nine threes in Chapel Hill. Carolina gets a steal on McMahon's drive. Wood the other way. He's going to go coast to coast and lay it in left-handed. Shot clock down to 10. Little has it top of the key. Guarded by Warp. Boy, hesitation. Drive to the hoop. Boy, his layup was blocked off the glass. No whistle, but May gets the offensive rebound. Puts it in and draws the foul. Brandon Robinson kind of tips the rebound underhanded to Kobe White, who starts the break the other way. He's going to dump it in the post to Huffin. Oh, my. Big jump stop. Just muscled Williams out of the way and laid it home. Williams to seventh Woods. Attacking left side. Now we'll ease it back out. Cam Johnson open for three. Yes. Woods drifts to the right sideline. Passes up high to Cam Johnson. Another triple for Cam. You know it. Kenny Williams turns it over. Tried to dump it to a cutting May. Here comes four the other direction. Robinson blocked it from behind in transition. Kobe White, deep left wing. Shot clock at 15. He's guarded by McMahon. He'll try that step back three off the front iron. Little tips it up and in on the offensive glass. Louisville trying to go in the post again to Williams. Little blocks his turnaround into the hands of Brandon Robinson. As he stopped to try to pass the ball, he realized, I got nowhere to pass, and I can't see anywhere. I'm in the middle and in a corner. Tar Heels knock it away from McMahon. Fast break. Finish from White, the two-handed flush. Game clock down to 10. White in the center jump circle. Crosses over against Perry. Flips it to May. Hard dribble. Left-handed layup won't go. Little the offensive rebound. Gets it back and scores through the contact at the horn. Carolina the other direction going right to left in this half. May way off the mark with his hook. It was so off the mark it fell to Brooks who lays it in and he gets fouled. Carolina runs down the rebound. May to Cam Johnson. Three in the right corner splash. May battles for the offensive rebound. Caught in heavy traffic. Has it knocked away. May recovers on his backside. Ball still loose. Garrison Brooks out of there with it. Whips it to White. How about a Kenny Williams three? You know it. What effort by the heels. Robinson still grimacing a bit as Kenny Williams comes front side. Two Robinson finds May right in front of the rim for the two-handed jam. Kobe White with 10 on the shot clock. Splits a double team up high, gets to the rim, lays it in, and the foul. The high screen by May was misplayed by Louisville, but you got to give a lot of credit because the kid with the last name of White split that high screen on top as he stepped out, headed straight into the rim, and then avoided picking up the charge, even though there was contact right in the middle of the paint. Drifts to the left side. Reverses course back to the top. Just five on the shot clock. Heels got to go. White, boy, a pivot, a step back. Are you kidding me? That was a pro move from White for two. Oh, I tell you, he, he just danced on that one. I mean, I think he would even tell you he probably didn't get a full rotation back, so he was off balance, but following through makes all the difference. Kobe White has it. Out near the timeline, shot clock down to 15. White caught in a double team, saves it high post to Robinson, gets it to May all alone for the dunk. Well, after the game on January 12th in Chapel Hill, Carolina was so discouraged, not only with the outcome, but with the effort that day. Today, both things 180 degrees the other direction. Carolina comes into the Yum Center, hands Louisville just its second home loss of the year. And I'm going to tell you the final score, which is 79-69, maybe not even as indicative as how much the Tar Heels were able to control the game this afternoon.